because in honor of silk press season, we are making a silk press video. So today's video is going to be on how I do my silk press at home. So if you are a salon girl and you don't have a chance to get into the salon and you want your hair to be silky straight, okay? Silky straight, just like this. I got the tip. I got the tip for you on how you can do it yourself. Whether you have thick hair, thin hair, long hair, or short hair, this works for everybody. These products that I'm going to be using. Sorry, I'm getting on my flyway. So the products that you guys are going to see me using can be found literally anywhere. These products are not new to the hair industry and they are oldies but goodies. So again, thank you guys for stopping by my channel. My name is Devony. If you are new here, please hit the subscribe button, honey, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss an upload from myself. And if you are a returning viewer, like my hair girl. It is like really just a straight girl. Really just straight. Okay? Like, your girl got it straight today. Okay? And so, this method is going to prevent heat damage. And then I'm also going to post a separate video on how you can regain moisture back into your natural curls after a silk press. Okay? So, if you want to see how I do my silk press on my own natural, naturally curly hair, then please, then please keep on watching. Okay, girl. So, first of all, I just want to say, this hair, my hair came out so pretty and straight. And this, my, my method is foolproof every single time. Foolproof, okay. Okay, girl. So, first things first, I want to introduce to you, or reintroduce to you, the products that I'm using. So, first of all, whenever you're doing some sort of skincare or hair care, um, it's best to stick with the same brands because the same brands, all products kind of work together to give you the desired look that you're going for. And my desired look was a silk press. And I must say, it came out beautiful. Like, it, it's, it's gorgeous, honey. It's gorgeous. So, the products that I used for washing, conditioning, heat protectant, and for the silk wrap is, I used the Bio Silk shampoo and conditioner, and I also used the Bio Silk serum to blow out my hair. So, to straighten my hair, honey, I went in with this little bag of tricks inside of this bag i have my handy dandy bellamy 143 blow dryer with the concentrated nozzle okay and then i straightened oh shoot i don't have my flat iron in this bag of tricks but I'm gonna go get some back. The flat iron that I used, okay, so the flat iron that I used is the Bellamy 143 flat iron. And this collection came out with the Nicole Guerrero 
um, collection by Bellamy. It's called 143. This came out years ago, you guys. Years ago, I just still use those products because they work really well for my soap sprays. They work really well for my soap sprays. Let's get into my process. My first step, I'm going to shampoo my hair, not one, not two, but three times. To get a perfect silk press, you have to have every ounce, every speckle of dirt or buildup or oil. You have to have all of that complete. Uh, you have to have all of that completely cleaned out of your hair and your scalp, okay? So, yes, I do recommend shampooing three times, um, four times if you have really thick hair that holds on to build up, okay? And then I can suggest that you condition your hair with the conditioner one time, detangle one time, okay? And then when you get out of the shower or from under, you know, the sink or whatever, Wrap your hair up in some sort of towel, in some sort of um, microfiber towel or some sort of t-shirt and leave your hair in there for a few hours so they can be more than 50% dry. Because it, you, because it kind of, when you put your hair in a microfiber towel or like a t-shirt or something like that and your hair is more than 50% dry, when it cuts down on your blow drying time, which reduces heat. So, right before blow drying, I do use this bad boy right here. This is the BioSilk Serum. I love this, honey. I love this, okay? I love it. I completely love it, and let me tell you why. My hair gets tangled so bad, whether it's wet, dry straight or curly okay so whenever i'm going into prior to my blow drying i do use this i use this bio silk on my hair um i put the bio silk in i split my hair in half put the bio silk on my hands and just work it through the hair and i untangle each section roll it up into four sections four little buns so i put one two three four little buns in my hair and that is when I move on to the blow drying process okay this step is very very important when blow drying when blow drying your hair this bad boy any type of paddle brush mine has hair in it clearly but any type of paddle brush where you can hook the hair you can hook the hair like this really get that blow dryer in there and pull it straight through the hair that is what you want that is going to maximize how straight your hair gets okay and also keep in mind when you are blow drying your hair you blow dry your four sections completely through okay with your pedal brush here and then you take all four of the sections down and then you just kind of make sure that you get all of the moisture out of your scalp and out of your hair, whatever is left over, okay? Also, if you notice a lot of smoke or if you notice a lot of um, fogginess in your room when you are blow drying your hair, that means that you still have product buildup on your hair. And if you want to continue to blow dry your hair, you very well can it's going to have your um your hair looking a little bit dull at the end but i recommend going back in and shampooing again to make sure that whatever buildup is on your hair is off of your hair and it has a natural a natural luster okay everybody's hair has a natural luster okay because whenever you get all of the buildup, all of the crud, all of the dirt off of your hair, it has a natural shine, okay? So if you want your hair to be very naturally shiny, not using any type of oil sheen or anything after that, which you can, but you do have to make sure that you are shampooing your hair very well and rinsing the shampoo and conditioner out 100%, okay? So blow drying with a paddle brush 
and that paddle paddle brush will ensure that the blow dry is really blowing out the hair stretching the hair and making the hair as straight as possible prior to um your flat iron okay and some people also use the tension method with the with the blow dryer you can hold your hair taut and then just run the blow dryer down your shaft and that will also get your hair um dry and straight okay so next step is going to be your flat iron let me go back in my bag of tricks while flat ironing your hair, again, four sections, you are going to want to take a bristle brush. Yes, a bristle brush. Not a, not like a rat tooth, a rat tail comb or anything like that. You're gonna to wanna to take a bristle brush, okay? And so when you take that bristle brush, you are literally going to take the hair, the piece of hair, not this big, huge piece. I'm just gonna show you what happens. You're going to hook that hair onto this brush. Okay. The trick to silky straight one pass hair. Okay. Silky straight one pass. Take this bristle brush and hook it onto the hair. You see how this bristle brush, how the hair is inside of that brush? Okay. You can see that. And you're going to take your flat iron. And you are going to place that flat iron on that hair and chase it with that brush. And it is going to get you a silky, smooth, one pass every time. Okay? Try it. If you don't believe me, try it. I do this all the time. And this is why I'm sharing this with you. Okay? I'm sharing this with you because this bristle brush, along with already straightening your hair from blow drying, is going to give you the easiest silk press in the world. Okay, now once all of the hair is completely straight, you can do, you can either take this, you can take this one of two ways. You can take it the bone straight way, or you can go back through with your flat iron and curl your hair, um, which I usually curl the ends of my hair, okay, prior to wrapping it. Does that make sense? You can either jump straight into wrapping it or you can curl your hair before you wrap it, which is what I do and which is what I'm going to show you in my demo. So yes, I do go ahead and curl the ends of the hair and then my final step would be to wrap my hair and you can either wrap your hair and kind of walk around for 15, 20 minutes or you can wrap your hair and sit back under the dryer for 10 minutes. It's the same thing. The heat from your body um, if you're just walking around, it's going to activate the silk, whatever the silk thing is, a silk ingredient in your, in your hair products. And also, if you just sit under the, a warm hair dryer for 10 minutes, that's going to activate the silkiness in the ingredients in your products. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. But anyway, once you take your hair down out of that wrap honey it, it should be silky straight like this it should be silky straight i do have a recommendation for let's say your hair is silky straight but your ends still look kind of raggedy kind of you know dry i do have a remedy for i do have a remedy for if your if your ends are still dry after you have blow dried and um flat ironed your hair Right before wrapping your hair, you are going to take the tiniest bit, the tiniest bit of hair oil. This hair oil that I use is the Divine, Divine Hair Care Hair Growth Serum. And you literally take like three drops of this and you mix it in your hands like this and only put it on the ends of your hair, only the ends of your hair, and then wrap your hair up like I said, sit back under the dryer for 10 minutes, walk around for 20 minutes, whatever you want to do. When you take that hair, honey, when you take that hair out of that wrap, it's going to be silky smooth. It's going to be silky smooth. Okay. And for edges, because honey, my edges 
first of all, I'm not good at edge control. Like, I'm not good at, you know, making the swoop thin dupe edges. Like, I, when my hair is straight, I just like to have, like, a very classy edge look, okay? It's, it's pretty straight back. But edge control, again, comes from Divine Hair Care. This is her edge control. And this edge control, honey, <laughs> your edge is not going nowhere. It's not going nowhere. They're going to stay put for two to three days. Okay, if you don't comb them. But I'm just saying. Okay, so you style your edges and then boom. You can wear a middle part like myself. You can style your hair to the side, honey. and you're gonna have silky straight hair under an hour under an hour try it try it step by step try it let me know comment down below share this video with your friends if you have not already subscribe to my channel because I'm coming with the jam I'm coming with the jam sis thank you guys so much for watching I love you guys and I will see y'all in the next video
have longer hair, I think you would like this if you do not want to wrap your hair at night.